I'm Ashley Miranda. I'm a senior here at William Patterson. I'm a biology major. Honestly, I would have never thought that I'd go into bees, but after taking animal behavior, I found that they're really interesting. And I've got to see some of Dr. Gilley's work and find it sort of a means of inspiration for me. We pride ourselves really on, on getting undergraduates involved in, in research. That's one of the reasons why I came here, in fact, is because, because we focus on, on research. My current research deals with pesticides effects on bee colonies, health and productivity. So I give them a sublethal dosage, which would be the amount you'd find maybe on one flower, and see what it does to a whole colony. In the bee lab, what we have is, this is a fairly unique lab, really. It's, uh, it's a lab that has um, part of it that's devoted to housing honeybee colonies indoors. Usually honeybee colonies are housed outdoors in large boxes. Uh, you may have seen them in fields or something. Um, but we've got special observation colonies, we call them, that are housed indoors. Students can come in and it's an environment where they uh, can design their own project and in consultation with me, take, take their data and um, address a scientific question of their choosing. At this point in time, what I'm looking for is either decrease in my two experimentals, which are given the pesticide, which I believe should decrease their productivity and health, and an increase or just staying normal for the control those bees are like little societies that they can observe and we can even get in there and mark bees, tag them, change their genetic structure, uh, anything we want to do with them. If I find that there's no difference within the experimental colonies and the control, it means the pesticide's fine, sublethal dosages are okay. However, if I were to find that you know, there is a decrease and they are affected in a negative direction, it just means we have to do further research to find a way so that we can ward off pests but not hurt our beneficial pollinators at the same time. Without bees, there really isn't in us.